Hey everyone, this is Jim Burke. I'm here with my brand new MX Aircraft MXS. It's in gray like the day. Today is a very gray day. I've only had a few flights on it so far. Super great airplane. I decided to take it to a contest here. It's called the Snowbird Contest at Keystone Heights, Florida. Having a great time. Take a look, a lot of beautiful aircraft here. Sun's kind of coming and going today. It's been cloudy, so we're kind of have a, a little break right now. So I thought I'd take some time to show you the new airplane. As you can see, it's a really beautiful design. MX Aircraft has made aircraft for quite a while. They used to make them in the U.S. Now they're making them in Australia. And I have one of the first ones produced by the Australian factory. It's a real step up from what they produced before. I'll show you, show you how it looks. Come on over here. We'll start in the cockpit. And of course, people ask me if I'm going to get the plane painted. I will someday. I just haven't had a chance. I, I kind of like it right now in gray. I'll fly it in gray for a while, but eventually I'll get a nice color scheme on it, like my extra. So let me just go ahead and take the camera here and I'll show you all around the aircraft inside. Hooker harnesses, padded, real nice. We have a locking cover back here for the turtle deck. Quite a bit of storage. It goes back to about here. So quite a bit of room back there. It's an experimental aircraft. There's no certified MXs. They're all experimental. This is the single seat version. There's also the MX-2, which has two seats. Otherwise, very similar airplane. has the same wing, handles about the same. I've had an MX-2. They're very similar. I have a full IFR panel in my aircraft. Airspeed indicator right here. Altimeter here. I chose an altimeter with no Colesman window, which lets me dial the altimeter down. Um, even if I'm at a high altitude, if you have a Colson window, a lot of times it limits you for air shows at high altitudes. It's nice to have this. I recommend that if you're an air show pilot. I'm booting up the Garmin right now. Fuel selectors down here, all the circuit breakers, the switches, autopilot controls, radio, transponder, audio panel. My aircraft has a taxi camera. So we can see out there in front of the aircraft over taxi, it's awful nice. With an IFR panel and all the gadgets in this aircraft, the all-up weight is 1,240 pounds, which is about oh, 120 pounds lighter than my extra, I suppose. This aircraft has aileron trim, as well as elevator trim, which is really nice. Didn't think I'd need the aileron trim, but it's real nice to have. Got a flip-flop right here so I can switch comms with this button. Smoke switch right here. Haven't flown any IFR with it yet, but uh, we've tested out the panel. It works really well. Can't wait to try it out. I would not shoot a really low approach with this, but it would keep you from getting stuck on top. So it's nice. Push button start, no key. You can get the key. There's lots of options. You can do it how you like. I did black interior. You can pick something else if you don't like black. There's a couple nice pockets here which are great for keeping stuff in. I throw my phone in there when I fly aerobatics. I throw my wallet in there so I can you know, pay for my fuel when I'm done. Another pocket over here on this side. Convenient. The aircraft's comfortable. Quite a bit of room in there. Doesn't look like it, but it's actually pretty roomy. There's no bars in there, so you have a lot of room to move around in. Uh, the canopy is a little taller than my extra, so I have more headroom. I always fight for headroom in my extra, so I, I like that part about it. There is a uh, smoke tank that you can access right there, but there's also a filler valve at the bottom of the aircraft, which is what most people would use. Looking at the aircraft now, we've got four hinges on the ailerons, which is really nice. The ailerons come all the way inboard. I'm gonna hand the camera back here so I can show it off. The ailerons come all the way in. I have uh, 37 degrees of throw in the aileron, which is probably 12 degrees more, I think, than I have in my other aircraft. It's quite a bit of aileron throw. Maybe it's even too much for me. I might dial it down a little bit because it's a lot. So I said four hinges, spades, rolls really, really fast, crazy fast. Wing tips with lights and full lighting inside this aircraft. So I can fly at night, fly at IFR. Over around here we have a pitot tube. There are wingtips you can choose from. There's an aerobatic side. I don't have it with me at the contest. I should have brought it. Wish I had, but I don't have it. So it's back at home, but that would go right there. 
wing tanks, 20 gallons in each wing tank. And the fuel burn at cruise, something over 200 knots, I haven't figured it out yet, but it was 200 plus, I think, at maybe 15 gallons an hour. So you have about 600 mile range, I would imagine. Down here we have the smoke filler valve. Pop that out, plug in the smoke filler, get the switch, the switch is here. Whereas in other aircraft, the switch is in the cockpit. It's a little easier to fill smoke up here with this aircraft. Looking up here at the top, we've got our main aerobatic tank. This is the one we use for flying aerobatics. We leave the wing tanks empty. I think it's 17 gallons. It says 20 gallons. I think maybe it reads 17 then. It says 17 on the panel, but it's 20 gallons there, which is plenty. I had, a, I, mean, I could fly, you know, three contest flights on that if I, if I want. I wouldn't do that, but I could do that. I, I know how much it burns after a couple flights here. What I like about this, you know, little things sometimes matter, but uh, on other aircraft, you have to use a key to open up the fuel. And this one, you just turn this, it opens like a normal aircraft. And also my dipstick is right there. I use my finger. If I get my finger wet with fuel, then I've got plenty of fuel to fly because it's full. That's convenient. A lot of other aircraft, there's like a throat. You have to go down, you have to use a stick or something. Not as convenient. Also on this aircraft, convenient. Just a regular oil door. No tool needed to open up the oil door. Uh, if you get the camera here, you can see there's a plenum. You see the carbon fiber plenum that's sitting there. I can access the oil here, but the aircraft uh, engine is shrouded by that plenum so the cooling air gets in there. It keeps the cylinders nice and cool. They stay very even. Up front of this aircraft, I have a Hartzell Talon, which is a nice propeller. Uh, I also like the MT propellers, and I'm gonna try a Whirlwind. I'll do some back-to-back -back testing, but this is a great propeller. One of the options you have. Lighting, landing lights, front. Nice sleek racing cowl. Landing gear, there's several options. These are the shorter gear. The taller gear look cooler, and I, I think it's better in some ways because you'll land at a higher angle. The, the aircraft stalls at a very high angle, so that would be awful nice. But I like that I can access the tank so easily with the shorter gear. So, you know, your preference really. Here's the taxi camera on the wingtip. Right there. I think there's three different wingtips available. Pick what you like. Here's our aileron trim right here. And this aircraft has trimmed with maybe one degree of aileron trim. But if you did have it out of trim situation, you'd be glad to have it. And on this aircraft, because the, the ailerons go so far inboard, as you trim the aircraft to different airspeeds, you'll have a little more effect of the ailerons. And it's nice to have the aileron trim for cross countries. With the autopilot, it doesn't really matter that much, but it's a nice thing to have. Some access panels down there on the back of the fuselage. Static port in the rear of the aircraft here on the side of the fuselage. We've got the elevator. Lots of throw, way more throw than on other aircraft. So you can do a lot more interesting uh, tumbles. And I think you can get more than that even. I haven't really played with that yet. Elevator trim back here. Big rudder, moves a lot. I think you can move even more, but that's plenty. I could do a double hammers. The very first time, you know, I, I tried doing double hammers in the extra and I got to work, but the very first one I did with this aircraft just went around really tight two times. It's easy, easy, easy to do. It wants to do them. Inside tumbles, outside tumbles, all that stuff it wants to do really well. Uh, there's no steering on the tailwheel. I haven't noticed that I miss it. Works out great the way it is. It's a real small tailwheel, so it digs into the grass here. So if I, if I could be on the grass a lot, I'd pick a bigger tailwheel, but it works great. It's so fast. I mean, I can tell you more about the airplane. It's extremely fast. Uh, it's not a problem if you get used to it, but I'm not quite used to it yet. So I've had some trouble flying at this contest because I'm just going so fast. I'm pulling the throttle out and all the downlines, down the prop back. Uh, it's going to take a while getting used to that. Um, snap roll is great. Roll rate is fantastic. And I don't even know what the roll rate is, but it's with the aileron throw the way it is, it's insane. I did some vertical climbs from about 1,000 feet to 3,000 feet, and I was still going up and just gave up. Said, That's enough, I figured. So I had all the fun I could with that. I'll try out that out some more. Um, I really don't know what else to say because I don't want to compare it too much to other aircraft until I fly it more, but it's a very, very good aircraft. It could be very strong in competition. Obviously it's strong in air shows. I don't see any downsides to it. it feels very, very tight. The finish is really good. Highest quality I've seen. And um, as you just look at the lines, it's a beautiful airplane. I'm not sure what more you, you would want in a single seat airplane. I've flown the two seater, they're very similar in how they handle. The newer aircraft they're making now, I think are quite a bit better than the older aircraft that were made. 
just they've updated it. Uh, it's not as many straight lines in the cockpit. They've made it curvy, which is you know aesthetically a lot more pleasing. Looks more finished inside, and I trust the build. Uh, it looks high quality all throughout. Uh, I'm in love with it. That's pretty much all I have to say. I just want to share it with you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.